What's it been like to try and do business right now in Salt Lake City for the past seven months? The city's economic experts say despite the challenges, they're still seeing growth. Peter Mikowski, the acting director of business development for Salt Lake City, joins us this morning to catch us up to date. So, Peter, we just got the trick-or-treating forecast. Have you and your family already got your costumes picked out for Halloween this weekend? Oh, we're ready to go. I uh, can't wait for Halloween. Uh, it'll be a little different this year, um, but uh, costumes are ready, ready to go. You are the what? Oh, I think it's going to be Dracula. <laughs> Sucking the life out of us this year. That makes it very appropriate <laughs> for 2020. Now, that's not the case I know for Utah business. You're talking growth, which is especially good to know right now with our economy. Where are you seeing that growth in Salt Lake City? Uh, we're see we're, you know, we are seeing a lot of growth in Salt Lake City. I'm sure if you've driven around downtown, you've seen the cranes in the air and uh, buildings being constructed. Uh, that hasn't stopped. Um, so we're going to continue to see uh, development in the city. Um, lots of uh, companies very interested in Utah right now. Um, I think at the beginning of COVID, we saw, we saw a big slow, uh, as you would expect. Um, but as the summer progressed, uh, we had a lot of phone calls this summer uh, with companies that are interested in moving to Utah. Can you give me a teaser for one of those? You mentioned we got a few. Uh, unfortunately, I can't provide any teasers since uh, the, these projects are confidential. Uh, I appreciate you trying. <laughs> um, but I can tell you uh, some really great companies. Um, we're seeing a lot of growth in the tech sector. Um, so lots of tech companies from California, from Chicago, from New York are, are, are very interested in Utah. Um, uh, uh, lots of uh, healthcare innovation, which is a, a major focus of ours. Um, I, I think it's uh, something our mayor uh, ha has really zeroed in on, and we're starting to see a lot of healthcare and life science type companies, and then uh, a lot of manufacturing and distribution. Um, looking out near the airport, um, we've just seen growth all across the city. So it's been great to hear that we have some of those areas that are still kind of moving in the right direction. But are there any businesses in Salt Lake City who are still struggling? Yes, uh, and that has been our main focus. Uh, well, we're very excited for companies coming to Salt Lake City. Uh, we've been zeroed in on working with businesses, those most heavily affected by COVID-19. Uh, earlier in the year, uh, we uh, launched an emergency loan program uh, for small businesses, uh, specifically focused towards those uh, in the service industry, you know, restaurants, bars, entertainment. Um, we uh, partnered with Ty Burrell on a, a tip your server program uh, to provide money uh, for servers who were put out of work during the quarantine. Uh, and then our latest uh, effort, the Open Streets uh, event that we uh, launched downtown where we closed down Main Street and allowed all those bars and restaurants to expand their patios onto the sidewalk uh, during the evening. And um, we've been uh, looking at uh, uh, every solution we can uh, to help these businesses that are suffering through COVID-19 uh, and help them get through this. Now, I know our time is limited here, but if people, if they're interested in some of the work you're doing for those businesses moving forward, just as all those things you mentioned, where do they go to find that information, Peter? You can visit our website. We have uh, a wealth of information for businesses. Uh, the website is www.slc.gov slash ed as an economic development. And you can, you can find a, a wealth of information that we've provided. And we'd always just like to remind everyone to social distance and wear your mask. There you go. Peter Mikowski right there. He's one of the business experts with Salt Lake City. You can take a bite out of that information online. And he's taking a bite out of his costume coming up here for Halloween this weekend.